In this video, we will show you how to design a screw-retained crown on the TRIO scan. Start with importing your order from the Three-Shape Communicate platform. If you work on in a traditional way, just create a new order and scan the models. Screw-retained crown is one of four types of abutments supported by Three-Shape Dental System. It can be a one- or two-piece abutment. In our case, we selected the two-piece abutment. Once finished with the order details, click OK. Then double-click your order in Dental Manager. While in Dental Designer, first you need to go through the scan preparation steps if this hasn't been done before. If you work on gypsum model scans, you will not have preparation step in your workflow. Instead of this, you will go straight to Implant Alignment step. Once the preparation is finished, click Next to get to the Margin Line step where you need to align the implant scanned abutment using one or three-point alignment. When alignment is successful, click Next to get to the Direction step. You cannot change the implant direction, but you can change the insertion direction for future restoration. Position the scan in the design window to obtain the desired insertion direction. Insertion direction step is not that important in the case of a screw-retained crown as it is in the case of a customized abutment when there is a restoration placed over the abutment. When the desired position is found, click the Set Direction button to save its position and click Next to continue with the design process. Now, when you are in the Anatomy Pre-Design step, use the Smile Composer tools for positioning the future tooth and defining the right space for the abutment. Having positioned the tooth, click Next to move to the abutment step. At that design stage, you can shape the emergence profile. It is easily done on the translucence models due to the visible contour lines. Start with positioning the orange control points of the emergence profile at the required level in relation to the gum edge, usually about 1 mm below the gingiva level. When activated, the points show the grid mesh, helping you to measure distances. The purple control points allow you to move the emergence profile up and down as well as rotate it. When you have it at the required level and your emergence profile has been formed by the healing cup, click Snap Gingiva button that will fit the emergence profile completely. If there are areas where profile is not fitted entirely or you want to create a little bit of pressure towards the gingiva, use the green control points to do that. If you need to be more in control of your design, add more control points. To do that, right-click on the red line of the emergence profile and choose Add Profile. You can remove control points likewise. If you do not have a nicely shaped emergence profile, use the Snap to Anatomy button to automatically snap profile to the earlier designed crown. In our case, we go back to the Snap Gingiva option. After finishing your emergence profile design, click Next to go to the Anatomy Design step. Now, you have your tooth anatomy back and you can work on it adjusting the shape, occlusion and contact point. It's here where you can select the 
allow sculpting of emergence profile checkbox to be able to adjust the crown and its emergence profile as a single piece using the Smile Composer tools. To ensure that your full anatomical crown works correctly in occlusion and articulation, you can check it in Virtual Articulator. When done, click Next to get to the finalized step where you can make the final adjustments to the crown design and the abutment assembly. During the assembly step, you will have the screw hole visualized. When finished, click Next to get to the Ready to Build Model step and then close the order or start designing the model by clicking Model. And that's it! Thank you for watching.